I know what you're going to ask. What qualifies you, Katie, <laughs> to give this perfect advice? Well, I'll have you know, I've been a mother for almost two and a half years. Okay? And I've read a lot of books on the topic. So, yeah. Step number one to being a perfect mom is to take care of you. Who is taking care of you? If you're not taking care of you, you can't take care of them. And this includes 45 minutes of exercise at least five times a week. I mean, that's not hard, right? I've got a yoga studio set up right in our basement. And I spend a lot of time in there. So, I mean, it's easy. You just go in there and, and do it. It's, yeah. Step number two is to understand that perfect meals equal perfect children. None of these food dies. Hot dogs. Fast food, please. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell you the last time that Uh, it's just, it's, it's not really, it's not really something you want to do that often unless you really need it really fast. And, and then, but usually I run out back to the garden and, um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure there could be tomatoes back there or, or so we use, you know, fresh, that perfect food <laughs> for perfect kids. <laughs> That's my motto. This third one is my favorite. This is especially for you moms of toddlers who are really dealing with those moments of just, ee! and you can't quite understand what sets them off. And you're like, hey, you want some milk? And he's like, ah! And, and it just, it, um, it, you, you just don't understand. What sets them off, right? So, uh, so this is for for you, um, to sort of help you. And this came from my mom, and she basically said to me, "Reason with him," and I thought, "Of course," because because that's exactly what you need to do with your two year olds. Um, that's about the age when reason really kicks in. So I just sit him down and say, "Sweetheart, why is it?" that you have stripped yourself naked and are running through the house screaming bloody murder. And he looks at me and he's like, Mom, you put my milk in the wrong cup. And that's when we're really able to connect. That's, that's when the back and forth dialogue really happens. And that just makes me feel like a perfect mom. I'm going to leave you with one last thought, moms, and that is to push, push, push your kids to success. No more of these excuses. You know, I'm only four. I don't care. We put headphones on my belly when our kids were in utero, and I am pretty sure they're playing Beethoven now. I mean, it sounds so close. And that's what having children is all about, is really living your dreams through them. It's your second chance, or third or fourth or fifth, depending on how many you have. Nobody puts Katie in a corner.